Hi guys, this is Sam with Practically Posh Life and today is going to be another video in my holiday series, What I Got My Kids For Christmas, Stocking Stuffer Edition. If you are new, welcome. If you are a subscriber or have watched my videos before, welcome back. This is my favorite series of the year. I like to film videos of what I get my kids for different holidays to inspire and give you guys different ideas. I have two girls, almost, one that's almost seven. She'll be seven in a week. Um, and one that is five. So um, they are into all the things, babies, LOLs, all of those things. But this um, video is going to be just what I got them in their Christmas stocking. So first let's start with the stockings. If you have been around, you know what the stockings are. They are the same as all the prior years. They are the Pottery Barn um, stockings that I got. We're probably going on five years. Yeah, we're probably going on five years um, for these stockings. So we all have one. This is the one for the two girls. And we all alternate colors and, and they're beautiful and they're just classic. I love them. I will be keeping them for quite a while and honestly I have had them five years and they are in pristine condition. Um, they just they hold up so well. Well worth the investment. I have the tree skirt as well with our family name embroidered on it and I love it. Uh, when we first got it my husband was like this is a lot of money for stocking and Christmas uh, tree skirt. But we have found over the years that it was well worth the investment. I don't buy stockings every year. I don't ever have to buy a new tree skirt unless I want to because the quality of the Pottery Barn stockings and tree skirt are just fantastic. So, and I think they're a pretty good size. I'm able to fit quite a bit in these stockings. So those are the stockings. Now let's get into what are in the actual stockings. I am operating on borrowed time. So if I look like I am um, being chased by somebody and constantly looking at the door, it is because my kids are home. They are downstairs watching TV. But, um, at any point they will come up here knocking on the door asking for a snack and um, so I'm just trying to listen out for that. So if you see me going like this a lot, that's why. All right, so I'm gonna jump right into this. Okay, let me start with the food items. I did a lot of like snacky treats this year because I have found that a lot of the knickknacks and stockings just don't get used. They don't use them, they just end up off to the side. So I didn't want to put a ton of knickknacks in the stockings. I wanted to put things that I know they will like and use. And then the rest of the items are just disposable items that they can consume and we are done with them. And I don't have a bunch of little knickknacks all over the house. <clears throat> so if you've watched prior years, you probably did not see this many treats. But this year I did that on purpose. So for the treats, they each have one of these holiday Rice Krispie treats. Um, and the treats I think I all got from Target. Um, and then they each have one of these little gingerbread mini cookies from Pepperidge Farm. They each have this. And fun fact with Tic Tacs, my kids love Tic Tacs. I pack this in their lunch and every day they know they're allowed to have one after their lunch um, when they were going on site. Um, and they loved it. And they were like, oh, the teacher asks for it sometimes. The friends ask for it. So they love having the pack of Tic Tacs in their lunch bag. And so I always uh, make sure that I have a pack for each of them. And it's just in one of the pockets of their lunch bag. Um, and so this was the holiday candy cane edition. So I thought that they would like this. So I just picked up two of these. Um, I have one child that loves kind of Sour Patch Kids. So she's going to get a box of the Sour Patch Kids. And then the other one does not and is a huge fan of the um, cookies and cream chocolate from um, Hershey. And so she is my child through and through. So I have a whole bag of these. I'm just going to put a bunch of these in like a little cellophane bag with a ribbon. And that is going to be her treat, which is kind of the equivalent of this. So I'm just showing you two, but I'll probably put a handful again in a little cellophane bag with a bow. And she will love that. Um, okay, and I think that is it. Oh. Last thing on the treat side is these two, Bean Boozled. They have been watching this on YouTube and they were like, oh, this looks like such a fun game. Um, I've never done Bean Boozled and neither have they, so I thought this would be fun to do on Christmas so they each have a little Bean Boozled and the flavors on the back are gross. So it will be very fun and interesting to see how we handle all of these uh, interesting flavors. So this is kind of like a fun little family thing that we can do. So that is it for treats. Next are just the actual functional items. Let's start with pens. So I got these cute little pens from Claire's. Um, 
I don't, I don't know if they're the same thing or not. I think they are both the same thing, just different colors. Hopefully you can see. I know with the glare it's a little hard. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, but that's what they look like. I think they're super cute. They have a little glittery horn. Um, and then it's just a little glittery pen. And again, I got these from Claire's. So those are the pens. I am thinking of getting little notebooks. I originally got some notebooks from Claire's, but they were huge. I had them shipped to me and I did not realize the scale. They are not going to fit in the stocking. So I'm returning those and I probably will get just a small kind of three by five or five by seven notebook that will fit in the stocking to go with the pens. And then this I got because we are struggling. Oh, there's another food item. The little holiday push pops. Sorry. Um, so that's, that's really it for food. We are struggling with keeping them focused during their Zoom sessions. So like one child has a morning meeting that's only like 30, 45 minutes. But my other child, my kindergartner's morning meeting is literally like an hour and a half. And so she struggles about halfway through. She's wandering around the house and I'm like, what are you doing? Your, your Zoom is still going on. Your teacher's still on camera. Go back to your seat. Um, but that's a lot for a five-year-old to sit for an hour and a half and she's just struggling. So I was trying to figure out what are some things I can do to help her with fidgeting and moving around so much and just helping her to sit still but kind of give her something to do because I think just sitting there and staring at the camera is really hard for her. So for both of them, and I know this is a few years ago, but I got fidget spinners. Do you guys remember these? I know they were huge a couple of years ago, but my kids were too little. They were, you know, toddlers at that point, so they weren't really into it. Um, so now is the right age, and again, as I'm trying to find things to keep them focused, I think that this will really give them something to do with their hands where they're not getting up from their seat and rolling around. And I thought that this one, I got this on Amazon. I thought it was a really pretty one. It's metal, um, and it's got kind of this iridescent, colorful look to it. Um, and the reviews were pretty good. I don't know how to actually work this thing. I've never had one. <laughs> so, but, and it came in this cute little case. And I think they were about, I don't know, maybe seven or eight bucks um, for each of these. So I, I just think I'm, I'm hoping it will be helpful and give them something because they're, they're fidgeters. And I'm hoping that this will help them do something with their hands while they're watching their Zooms without actually having to get up or be laying all over their seat. I mean, it's a hot mess trying to keep them sitting upright and in their chair for the entire Zoom class. Um, so this is something that I'm going to give them and, you know, they can fiddle with it while they're um, sitting in their class. Um, if any of you have kids that have used fidget spinners, let me know um, if they're helpful to kind of give them something to fiddle with um, and whether you have found it helpful. Okay, so that's that. Uh, then wallets. So they have little purses, but only one of them had a wallet. The other one did not. And lately they have been big into taking their tooth fairy money, putting some of it in their purse. Um, and you know, on the rare occasion where they get to venture out, they want to take their purse and their wallet, but only one of them had one. So I wanted to get, um, wallets for them. So I got these at Claire's. I think they're just so pretty. They're little iridescent wallets with the flip sequins and little bows. So one is kind of a pink mermaid color and one is a purple mermaid color um and when you open them up they've got different compartments all sorts of things so super cute plenty of space and so I think they will like this and what we will likely do is maybe put five bucks in each of it so that there's a little you know how I am about things within things um so I wasn't going to do gift cards um but I think I may do just a, a few like five dollars in singles so it feels like a lot of money to them and for them it is a lot of money <laughs> um and so they will get new wallets and they will have a couple of dollars in the wallet as well on the toy side um who remembers light bright they had these little mini light brights at target i thought they were so cute um I think that this is another thing that I probably would not give it to them during school time because they do need to be focused on their Zoom. But during breaks, when I give them some downtime between working on schoolwork and Zoom classes, I think that maybe this is something that can work on. It's also small, so I think the mini size is also good for car rides. I know many of us aren't going very many places these days, but when we do start to do that, um, I think that this size is really good for portability as well. Um, I wish I could tell you the price. I really don't remember. Let's call it 10 bucks. It's ten, between 10 and $15 for each of them. Um, but I think that that'll be fun. I remember Light Bright and really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping they will as well. 
And then I also got these twisty pats. I think these are super cute. They loved them the last time I got them a couple of years ago in a stocking. So I got them again. And these are the Twisty Pets babies. And so they come with a bunch of different little um, characters in them. And then a case. And you can link all of these together to make a charm bracelet. So I think that they are going to like this. And one has like the unicorns. And one has koalas. Which is perfect. Because my older daughter loves koalas. And the little one loves unicorns. And I got these on clearance over the summer. So this was like four dollars um maybe between three and four dollars on clearance and again i just buy things on clearance and put them away and then when it comes time for different holidays easter valentine's day halloween i can go in my closet and find some of these little kind of smaller gift items and stick them in stockings and give them as gifts so this is perfect and i know they will like it and then lastly yes lastly um Today's equivalent of an orange in the toe, LOLs. And so we have the LOA, LOL um, holiday present surprise that'll go in the toe of the stocking. And I have a couple of these each. So depending on whether there's still room in the stocking, I may give them each two, um, but they'll definitely be getting one of each. But again, I have four total and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other two. Um, but I may again, just give each of them two if there's room in the stocking. But that is everything. Again, the only thing missing here is I'm probably going to get a little notebook to go with the pen. Um, they are big into writing down lists and writing things down and writing stories. So I think they will love a little notebook. But otherwise, that is everything that they are getting in their stockings. Every year I usually put some sort of stuffed animal peeking out. So that may be the last thing that I get is like one of those little squishmallows. Like a small version of it and just stick it in the top so that they also have a little stuffy as well. But they are getting a lot of stuffed animal type stuff for Christmas. So I'm debating whether they really need a mini stuffed animal when they're going to be getting some bigger stuffed animals um, for Christmas anyway. So, but that is everything that is going in their stockings. Comment down below. Let me know some of the things that you're putting in your kid's stocking this year. Um, and some of the things that you have already picked up or whether you wait till kind of later on to get stocking items. Do you do some more traditional items like toothbrushes and practical things that they need? Um, do you do all food items and just things that they can consume so you don't have to deal with a lot of stuff around your house or a mixture of a little bit of everything? Look forward to hearing and seeing your comments uh, down below. And then please stay tuned for the rest of the season um, items in this series. I am going to be doing the What's in My Kids Christmas Eve box um, as well as what I got my daughter for her seventh birthday. So that is coming up shortly as well. And I don't know if that will be posted before this video or after, but make sure you check out the different holiday videos in this series. I will also be doing the hit or miss video uh, after Christmas to let you know kind of what worked out well and what did not go over as well as I thought it would. Um, I always like to debrief with you guys and tell you the honest truth about how these things kind of landed with the kids. So I will be sure to include that in my series as well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.